Hey guys, it's Christina Warren from Mashable.com and I'm going to show you how you can embed the new Spotify play button on your own website or blog. This is a super simple tool that will let you bring playlists, albums, and individual tracks uh, to your website or blog and they will play within Spotify and are easily shareable by others. We think it's really cool, it's also really easy to use, but we're just going to go ahead and walk you through the steps one by one. So the first thing you want to do is open up Spotify and figure out a track or a playlist or whatever you want to embed. In this case, I've actually already created a playlist, Wednesday Afternoon Tunes. And so once you've got that one created, just go ahead and right click on your playlist and you can choose Copy Spotify URI. If you wanted to choose an individual track, for instance, I maybe might want this in more track, you can also right click on the individual tracks and, and do Copy Spotify URI. And in the case of a, of a full album, um, let's see, go to this uh, Nicki Minaj, for instance. Uh, if I right click on the album artwork, I can select the copy Spotify URI, but the URI is what you're looking for. In this case, I actually do want to use the playlist I created. So once I've got that copied, just go over to the Spotify developer page and they have um, a nice little setup um, tool. And so all you need to do is just paste in that URI and it's going to immediately show up and give you a real-time preview of what it looks like. Um, now this isn't bad by default, but you know what, I think I want to customize this a little bit. So I, uh, you can do it a uh, large or, or compact size. In this case, I, I like the large size, but I actually like it a little bit bigger. I want it to be 600 pixels wide. So when I change that, as you can see, it'll automatically resize. I also want to use the light color scheme rather than dark because I think it pops a little bit more. And you know what, I want the cover art to display rather than the track listing by default. Yeah, that's, that's what I want. So once you've got that set up and you have all your settings complete, then all you need to do is just click on Copy Embed Code. And then go into your uh, content management system. So that could be WordPress, it could be Drupal, um, it could be Tumblr, it could be something custom. Um, all it needs to do is to be able to accept HTML. So I'm in WordPress because that's what we use at Mashable. And I'm just going to paste in my code. And in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and save it as a draft so we can preview very quickly what it looks like. And we'll just hit the preview post link. And as you can see, the embed is, is in and it's beautiful and you can uh, select through track by track where you can look at uh, the entire list that way. And if I click on the play button, then Take Care from Dre will start, or I can switch over to another track. Clicking pause on the player will pause it in Spotify as well. Um, now, that's how you can do it with WordPress or another CMS, but if you want to do it the absolute dead simplest way, you want to use Tumblr. So if you've got a Tumblr account, Tumblr's made it super simple. You just go to your Tumblr dashboard and you click on the audio post button. And now there's this, this search bar where you can search for Spotify tracks in addition to searching for um, uh, SoundCloud tracks. So in this case, you know what, I want to embed a song, let's say, let's say Under Pressure from Queen and David Bowie. And it's going to go ahead and search and I see, hey look, check it out, Under Pressure from Queen and David Bowie. So I'm going to select the track, is that what I want? Yep, that's what I want to go ahead and say fantastic hook even today select the blog that I want in this case I'm going to go ahead and use Mashable HQ's blog we're going to go ahead and create a post then we're going to go ahead and as you can see it shows up immediately in the dashboard it's playable So we've got that, we can pause that, and then um, if I go and view this on Tumblr HQ, or Mashable HQ rather, it's gonna load and show David Bowie under pressure. And actually in this case, it's gonna pick up resuming right where I left off. So that's it. Now if someone else, if you wanna share this fantastic track, you can just click on the little embed button and you can grab either the code or get the direct link. 
and um, and that's that. So uh, Tumblr's made it dead simple. It's also very easy to use otherwise. We're really looking forward to using the Spotify play button here at Mashable so that we can share more music with our readers, um, both through our Tumblr and on the main site. And we look forward to seeing how you end up sharing music and using the play button across your sites. So let us know your thoughts about the tool in the comments and um, have a great day.